Hey guys, so today I went to the thrift store and I found this white Westinghouse WVCP 8000 VHS player. It's not a recorder, it's a player. There is no record button on this. There's no erase head either. I can just show you proof. No erase head. So it's a player. And, um... You know, White Westinghouse never made, like, VCRs and all that. Actually, it was it was not me. Yeah, like I said, it's not made by White, White Westinghouse. Obviously, another brand has made this VCR, and it's basically a rebatch of the, the original one. Let's take a look at the mechanism inside. This is an Orion mechanism. You might have seen one before in my pre in my other videos. It was in I used to have an Orion VCR like with this mechanism, but I accidentally screwed it up because I was trying to take a look at the bottom side because something was wrong with the idler. But on this one, this one this one works pretty well and. I decided to replace the belt on it, not because it was just one out, it's just I felt like it. Replace it with a better belt. Got the original belt right here. And it's still good. I can still use it on a different VCR at any time. So, that's good. So, um, it's the only Orion mechanism that, that has a pinch roller that goes down onto the capstan. No other Orion VCR had that. Or belt VCR. So, you might have, you, ne you might have never have a white Westinghouse VCR before. All right, I'm just gonna tell you just a few a few facts about white Westinghouse branded VCRs. All I just know they that they, that those VCRs had the white Westinghouse logo on it, and I know the original manufacturers of most of these VCRs. The majority of this of these VCRs were made by Funai, which this is not. Um, I mean, I, I don't know the model numbers off the top of my head, but you could look them up on Google Images, or I could just send you the link up to a White Westinghouse VCRs on Google Images in the description. So, um, and then you'll see it's basically rebadged up different VCRs, so Funai was the majority of these VCRs, and Orion was number two, and Shintam was even on the list. Shintom is actually on the list as well, but I'm, I think that they were Canadian market VCRs. I'm not quite sure. I, I think maybe not, because I've seen one on eBay that was in our country. And it had the same mechanism as my Toshiba VCR. That video where the video didn't work correctly. I'll review that later, like some other day. So, right now I'm going to review this. This is a, this is a pretty nice unit. This kind of reminds me of my old Sansui, uh, VCP-1506, VCP and it had a different mechanism in it. it. It was a little bit more modern. It was the same as, um, um, I don't, I forget the model number, but it was an Orion VCR as well. I, I don't remember the model number, but see if you can look back in my videos and see if you could find that VCR with that mechanism. And... That was one I didn't have good light back then, but I think it was sunny at the time. I'm not sure if I reviewed it or not, but you gotta always go check. So, here is the inside of this mechanism. These are, um, pretty, um, pretty re reliable mechanisms. I mean, and remember on the other one I had, uh, throughout, um, the Isla didn't work good. And on this one, it does. I tested it and everything, and everything's working fine. But, you know, I decided to replace it with a stronger belt, just in case. And it now works fine. And it does have digital tracking, and it does have insta-play. It doesn't instantly goes in the, doesn't go in the stop when, it, when there's no tab in there. I mean, it doesn't go in the stop when there's a tab in there, because it's not a VCR. There's no record button. It just instantly goes into play. 
these mechanisms these mechanisms are interesting so uh you can see here let me explain it's pretty complicated but these gears on the right let me get my let me shine my light these gears this gear right here drives um I don't even know how to say this. I don't even know what... What? It's pretty complicated. Okay, so this gear drives this gear on the pinch roller shaft and drives this gear and... What? This is pretty complicated. I remember there's a worm gear somewhere in there. It's like way over there. I think it, it's, it's way, it, it actually f stretches from here to over here, I'm not kidding. You should look at the diagram on Studio Sound Electronics, in the link in the description. And you'll, you'll be shocked at the bottom side. There's actually a worm gear that is right around here instead of being around here. That is pretty un unusual. And pretty interesting. So, it's already connected to my TV. I don't have to pause the video to hook it up because it, this one, this thing only weighs like 5 pounds at most. Maybe 7, but I'm not sure. But it's, it's pretty lightweight, so let's insert a tape. Record some Super Mario Logan on it. Love him. Makes awesome videos. We're just gonna... Top view. Starts up. It's playing perfectly now. Let's forward search. Has two speeds. Reverse search. Everything's working just fine. Stop. Fast forward. Picking up speed. Watch her go. It's fast forwarding at pretty reliable speed. So, I gotta get credit of that. Oh, I thought there was something behind me for a second, but I think it was just my silhouette. Or shadow. And on my other OEM VCR that I used to have, the tape stops fast forwarding to the middle of the tape. It stops there, it won't do any, it won't go any further. And when I press rewind on the other one it didn't even turn. So I didn't so that must have been an idler issue. I only knew that because the belt was still good. See, it's right at the spot where it would stop, so now it's working just fine. I test it out and everything, it's working like a charm, no issues. Let's, re let's rewind. This time it turns real very well. So there is no issue so far. I'm gonna let it all stop for you guys. Oh, by the way, let's take a look at the tape pad. Slowing down. It doesn't like completely slow down when it's in the beginning because I don't know why, but. Slows down pretty good, actually. Rather, I rather like we wanted at the exact speed. So, and we will eject. He ejects the tape. No issues. Now let's get closer to the mechanisms and parts and all that. See if I can get my light around. Excuse me for a moment. 
Okay, got my light. So, I can show you up close. Here's a loading motor that was making all that noise. It drives every single thing except for obviously the head and the uh, capstan. See if I can insert it with just my finger so I can show you the bum inside the cam gear in action. Main cam gear. Just. I'm just gonna. Wish I had longer fingers. Maybe I can do this. Excuse me for a moment. Again. Let's see if it will let me put in the play. Won't let me. Unfortunately, I can't put in the play mode without a, without a uh, cassette, but, um... But, um... This gear turns... I think it drives, I don't know if there's a mode switch under there. I have, I have to double check back at the Studio Sound Electronic website. But I wish I could see the whole entire cam gear assembly work. And I don't understand what that gear is for. I'm going to have to check the, uh, I know it's not for the cassette because I know it drives. Oh, I accidentally put my finger in there. Let's see if I can get it, get this. My cassette with no tape. Like at least I can show you these gears in action. I think I got a good angle with it. People focus. I think it drives more than a cassette carriage, because I think it drives... You might think this gets for a cassette carriage, but look at this. It also drives the whole entire mechanism. This is pretty complicated. And that's what makes the VCR more interesting. Take a look at the pinch roller one more time. Pretty cool. Lower mode is not really interesting, so you won't even like see it spin because it will spin really fast and it will not. It look like it will just be sitting still on camera. Oh, by the way, here is the half living. Oh my God! I to put my finger near the sensor again. Here's the half rolling arm that pushes some of the tape off the capstan. And the controller when it goes down. So now since we've seen the basic features of it, I'm gonna go turn on my TV and we're gonna see how she does. Shout out to you, Mr. Magnetoscope. Because this one is of course recording SP. And and SP is where like the best quality is at, so I'm gonna use an SP recorder tape. Shout out to you, but before I do, here's one weird thing. It doesn't go in, like, completely with this cassette. I don't know why. This door, this flap opens pretty, perfectly, and the tape is in good condition. But I, the only way to put it in, I have to help it, like that. I'm gonna move this one out of the way. I see a little bit of lines there, see if I can fast forward the tape, just forward search it just a little bit. So yes, this is, two, this is a two head. The lines would be a little bit thinner if it wasn't two head. If it was four head, it would be thinner.
But the picture on SP is not really bad, but it could be, it could improve. But now, two heads aren't like the, aren't like the best for S SLP, so we're going to give another shout out to another user who watches my VCR videos. And I know who you, and I know something else. You put my camera down for just a bit. Alright, so that was one shout out out of two. Now here's the second one. I haven't, I haven't given this guy a shout out in quite some time now. Join Bros 1. This video is also for you. And um, he makes awesome Pokemon videos, as or Pokemon, that's how you really say it. He makes some SML movies. No, not SML, SFM. Oh, I'm so used to saying SML, I'm, I'm, because I'm not really used to Source Filmmaker. He makes nice animations of Pokemon. He His channel is epic. You need, you gotta check it out. The links are in the description. Same with Mr. Manidoscope. Show them some love. Look at his videos. And if you like them, smash that subscribe button. So, yeah. Let's just... Let's do something for him. I'm gonna put a double speed. So, here's an animation so far. It's tracking. Record this in... L I think LP, mostly. That's actually his voice. It's just... <laughs> yeah, that's me all the time with my mother. I'm not kidding. That's me all of the time. This is only the first episode, so... If you really want to look at the... If you want to really... If you want to look at, look at more of his episodes, go to his channel. Links in the description. Please show him some love. And... And now we, I will rewind this cassette and I will finish up this video. Let's finish this off with an eject. Although, let me try something. When I power it off, tape doesn't load against the drum, so I'm guessing when I power it... Oh, I'll press play for now. When I power it off... It unloads the tape. I like that, because... I hate when the tape stays loaded against the drum. Because it will, the tape will get moist and it will... Cause the tape to get eaten after a while. If it just sits there with the tape... Against the heads, and that is not a good thing. You don't want that. So let's eject the tape. So yeah, so reminder guys, this is for this video, and now all I just want to say is, give it, check out both of these channels, Mr. Manitoscope and Joran Bros. 1. Mr. Mani, Mr. Manitoscope reviews VCRs way better than I do, to be honest with you. He shows more parts better because I think his camera has better macro, ver vi vi macro than I do, and yeah, he... He, he has, like, more VCRs than I do, like, way more, like, I don't know, let's see how many, like, 30 more than I do, I'm not kidding. Check him out, link's in the description, Drone Bros 1 as well, he makes awesome Pokemon videos, this Pokemon explains them all, he loves Jolteon with all of his heart, so, this symbol means, go check out his channel, please show him some love, and if you really like him, subscribe, and that will be it for this video, now, peace out.